In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tractor F1 controller into a step sequencer. First, we set up a remix deck like we have here. We drop in some samples, and this is the normal mode, the normal remix deck mode. You have access to all your samples as trigger pads. First thing is go into the Preferences tab. Go into the Controller Manager section. And up at the top here at Devices, when you go into here, this lists all your mappings that go on to various controllers. And we're going to add the Step Sequencer mapping to the F1 controller. So you're going to click Add, Import TSI, down to native instruments you got to kind of hover to the right here and here's the step sequencer and I'm working on deck C so we're gonna click F1 step sequencer deck C and the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to your F1 make sure it's on user map now to switch between the two modes you're gonna have to click shift browse that brings you to the step sequencer mode. You can see that it's already playing. And now, the exact same samples, they can now be drawn in. So this here, you can play it, stop it, cue it, uh, you can sync it, you can have it unsynced, you can change the BPM here to something different, match it, move the speed. You can have key lock on. Key lock off, etc, etc. Uh, you can also play these on the fly. Some other interesting things. Um, each channel you can assign to have effects or not. So let's say with the snare, we want the snare to have effects. Like a big giant reverb. Or delay. You can play around with the delay and various different samples. In this case, I'm going to show you with the, with the hi-hats. Because you only have one velocity, you can kind of trick or program in such a way to have these accents uh, that are quieter than your samples and then play around and open up various things. So I'll just give a quick demonstration. I'm using the delay here. Uh, this is the time, so the more I turn it up, the quicker the delay time, the less, uh, to the left, the less, uh, the slower the delay time. This is the feedback, and this is the, oh, this is the filter. So if I play, I can assign just the, uh, the hi-hats. So here, low feedback, high filter, dry wet about half-ish or a quarter. You can hear, without effects, with, if I start to tighten up some of the, If I open up the filter, 
and the feedback. I can have like a kind of a cool transitioning uh, effect going on, almost like you're opening an envelope or something. That's a lot of fun. Another thing you can do is play around with the sequence, kind of on the fly. So you might want to add double snares and double kicks, but you probably don't want it every single sixteenth uh, note. You probably want to, you know, have it at a a longer interval, like every 32 or every 64 or something. So what you could do is on the fly, kind of switch between them. Just kind of do that type of variation there. That same thing can also be achieved by pushing the buttons up here. On Tractor 2, the default sequence size, I think is like, it's way down like four or six or eight, or I think it's eight, um, which means that it's only playing the first eight sequences. You can change the size here. And you can create some really interesting uh, polyrhythms or whatever that's called, syncopation. Um, but in Tractor 3, it's the default is 16, which is nice. That's a normal sequence. I don't know why they wouldn't have just done that from uh, Tractor 2. But yeah, so that's how to switch it. You just click on whatever sample you're on switch by scrolling that little wheel and another quick thing is if you have multiple samples like you see up here like I have at the snare uh, when you have the sequence playing or not but you have to select whichever sample it is that you're going to be switching if you click shift and then you scroll the little wheel here uh, left and right, it's going to change between the samples. So, this snare, the rim shot, clap, tom, etc. So you can do some, uh, with all of that, you can make some pretty intricate variations in the sequence that you have. Switching between samples, adding effects like ghost notes to the hats, adding various other effects, um, adding the filter, dropping volumes, adding volumes, changing, changing sequence on the fly, adding in sample notes uh, manually on, on the fly as well. Um, you can get pretty creative with it.